On the Fav Creative Icon, there is a feature for not only sewing in reverse, but also permanent reverse. So I'm gonna just sew a little straight stitches forward. And if you are used to machines where you just have a little button where you touch and hold it, touch and hold it while you're sewing and it sews back and you release it and it comes towards you. Adding those little couple stitches of locking stitches so this they don't come out after you've taken your fabric out and cut your thread. So whether you just need a couple, or you need a lot. If you need a lot more than just a couple backed up stitches, go ahead and touch it when it's not sewing. And when you do so, you're gonna notice there is a light that turns on. Now, once that light's on, you're going backwards forever until you touch it and turn the light off. Now, why in the world would I wanna sew backwards without uh, forever? Well, there's times where I have so much fabric here, I need three hands to hold it in place. I don't have an extra hand to touch and hold this to do the locking stitch. Sometimes I'm actually doing some type of stitching where I might actually be coming back this way and then down and then angling back. It allows me to go ahead and here, let's just do it with a little, uh, sorry, am I going forward? I'm going forward. Okay, so let's just say I'm going to stitch backwards, but I'm going to turn my fabric. Watch this. I can just go ahead, turn that function on, stitch all the way back, stop, turn turn it off and then come forward. So instead of rotating all my fabric all the way around just so I could sew back this direction, all I did was just turn it a little bit, backed up until I needed to turn to the new position and then stitch. So if I was actually going here, let's just do this. Back up again. All right, you know what that reminds me of? That little X that I kind of started to do. If you're ever sewing like webbing and you see that little square, square, square and an X in the middle, that's one way to stitch it without having to turn it all those times through the machine. Um, just use that permanent reverse feature. You want it off, make sure the light's not on and you're back to sewing straight.